Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss what are the five reasons why I am investing in Federal Bank and what are the reasons against investing in Federal Bank and finally how much I invested in this stock so far. First reason, Fedfina. It is a next generation fintech company that means non-banking financial company. Federal Bank owns 76% of the company. In the last 15 years, it has grown from 300 employees to 2,100 employees. At the end of March 31, 2021, this fintech company got the assets under management of 4,800 crore rupees. It can't as gold loan, business loan, home loan, etc. About its financial health, it got NPA of 0.71% and capital adequacy ratio of 23%. In Jan 2021, the Federal Bank Management Board approved the issue of IPO. On 22nd Jan 2022, the Federal Bank was around 19,500 crore rupees. In that, the Management Board valued the Fedfina business alone to 5,000 to 6,000 crore rupees. Second reason is good fundamentals. In the last five years, total income of the bank increased from 9,800 crore rupees to 16,000 crore rupees at CAGR of 13%. In terms of profit, it is doubled in last five years. That is, it increased from 850 crore rupees to 1,600 crore rupees. Then ROA, it is at healthy pointed percentage consistently. And finally, NIM, that is net interest margin. It got the very good value of 2.93 in line with Axis and ICICI Bank. Third reason is strong lending practices with low NPA. In this graph, it shows the retail loan mix. Majority of the retail loan is housing loan with the salaried employees. Then about the CASA ratio, that is current and saving account ratio, which is the cheap money for the bank. Federal Bank is in level with the public sector bank that is 34% which is very high in private sector bank that shows the trust of the people. And finally NPA, gross NPA of the bank is around 3%. In terms of net it is 1.19% which is low in Indian banking sectors. Fourth reason, relative price value. As I already mentioned in my other Indian bank video, based on the fundamentals, I assign the values. Lower the value, the stock is relatively cheaper for its fundamentals. If you want to see the relative fundamentals of private sector bank, please pause the video and have a look. But still, HDFC bank is the cheapest for its good fundamentals. Federal bank is comparatively cheaper than many other banks. The price to book value of Federal bank is very attractive in terms of ROA and NPA. In comparison with SPI, SPI is trading at the price to book value of 1.72 and all its fundamentals are not better than Federal Bank. And I agree that SPI got the mode of government banking and it is the biggest PSU in India, but still I feel Federal Bank market value is cheaper. Then final reason, Remittance and stock trading in 2017 price. Federal Bank handled more than 15% of India's remittance in 2018, which is a huge cash transaction. There are 1.5 million NRA customers and they got offices in Abu Dhabi, Qatar, Dubai, etc. Then present trading prices. Though the revenue and profit were doubled in last five years, still the stock is trading in less than 2017 price. So, I am recognizing this stock is very good for doing swing trade. If the price drops, I can continue to keep on averaging without a lot of risk. What is against investing in this stock? First, in some of the news websites in 2020, they mentioned that Federal Bank is going to sell the majority of Fedfina stocks. I hope it's not true. Second, it is a value stock, not a growth stock. Third, though the company is making a healthy profit, they are not giving their profit as dividend. For a banking sector company, it raises my eyebrows. And fourth, NPA, 
there is a chance that this company can be the next yes bank you will never know until it happens how much i invested i bought 500 number of stocks for 47000 rupees i will book my first profit at 107 rupees for 100 number of stocks then and so on at 115 rupees and 120 rupees if the stock crosses 120 rupees i will hold 200 number of stocks on the contrary if the stock reduces to 85 rupees i will average it to 100 number of stocks finally disclaimer thanks for watching